Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to a new video. I was scrolling down in my comment section and one of you guys told me. I can't even hold it. I can't even hold it in. In the comment section, reduce KB's head, bro. You made my net worth in three days. And I'm pretty <laughs> you guys want to make my day say something funny in the comments and if i do find it funny i'll be giving you one mil by the time of my next video make sure you leave your IGN when you comment too also if you want to be pinned in this video just say hashtag pin this and i'll be picking somebody random yesterday i was at 4.9k subs and now i'm at 6.14 i don't know what's happening but you guys keep subscribing commenting liking and subscribing really does help the algorithm and i appreciate you guys who do that but without further ado let's get straight into the video Let's get the god pot here. We ran out of our god pot. Boom. That is so satisfying. 24 hours of god potions. Can we actually go to the auction house for one time and see if the potions have gotten worse? Oh, they actually went up in price. They're on. Uh, I mean, they're kind of the same, to be honest. Okay, so I want to be really realistic on the expectations for YouTube rank. And right now, I just feel that my. Like, one of my videos was an MVP++ incentive. Now, I thank all the brothers and the sisters that came out and supported, and that's why I had done the giveaway, to show appreciation, uh, regardless of who've gotten it. On the other hand, however, <laughs> however, I do feel like, how do I word this? I think I got really lucky. I hit the algorithm. The majority of the people who did subscribe were there for the giveaway so i think i literally just gained a couple thousand just based off that it did help boost me in a way where i don't know i feel like dude i i feel like i just have to wait like a couple weeks okay good i'm gonna let you rent this and then i should be able to get my enderman back bro good luck on your good luck on your search for summoning eyes bro at this point, I knew that I really wanted a skill grind, but I wouldn't be getting a lot of money. Now, this means that the series will last longer and there's gonna be more things to do, but I still wanna progress at a fast rate. Like, I don't wanna get one to two mil per day. That's just way too slow. So instead, I'm starting to do pet rentals, maybe one mil, two mil per day when people borrow my pets. It's some extra passive income that I can make. The goal for today's stream is I want to level up my pig pet twice. So I want it, I want to get it to level 94 today. Once I get it to level 94, I am going to do some foraging and then I might do foraging until the fishing festival. Cause the fishing festival is actually carrying how much money we get every day. And I'm basically just gonna abuse it until I have like nothing else to abuse. Do we get this legendary? Yes or no, dude? Ah, that's hot. Okay. It's done. It's crafted. Oh my god, dude. Supreme? Wait, hold on. There's a Supreme book that you can buy now? Supreme. It's a red book. Grow 6, P6. Depth Strider, Feather Falling, Reju 5. Sugar Rush 3. Supreme? What? If we get a Bad Lion Cape, it's gonna look... There's gonna be... This is what the Bad Lion Cape's gonna look like. So in RuneScape, you can get... Uh, This is the Infernal Cape. You see that Infernal Cape? It's gonna look like this. But it's gonna have a V like this. That's what the bad lion cape will look like. It'll it'll look so fire. You see, guys, look. Oh, we got 93 as soon as I said that. But I was also gonna say is live a dagger seven mil. This is why I, this is why I don't want to spend my time doing dungeons because I knew after I did dungeons, everything it would be trash, and then the meta would just be for the next dungeon. So I would spend all my money on a really good meta setup. And then the meta would change the next dungeon. And they already released that floor six and floor seven is right around the corner. That's what it is. So this is legendary, infinite quiver eight, and then infinite quiver nine is mythic, and then infinite quiver 10 is supreme. Is that a new rarity? So during the stream, we actually found out that the Supreme Enchant is actually its own rarity. So for anything like Feather Falling or Infinite Quiver 10, you'll see a Supreme, Supreme rarity on the book. This is new and I actually never really noticed it, but I thought I'd share to you guys. All right, boys, I'm gonna switch this up, man. We've been doing this for a while now. It's been getting kind of annoying and do a little bit of foraging, just mix it up. It's basically just gonna be like a major skill grind until I feel like I can move on to something that's more money per hour. But we're probably gonna be doing like fishing as well. I think fishing is gonna get us like an insane amount of money because it's like one mil in just natural drops 
and then you can get like you know a sea emperor and stuff like that that can drop shredders and whatnot so i mean that's also good over time you can literally drink a god pot as a new player and one shot zealots in like three hours that's so sad like the progression like zealots is like one of the best things that you can do in the game especially if you have a dead a dead lobby i think I honestly think if you have a dead end lobby to yourself, I think that's the best money maker in the game. I actually enriched one of my talismans as well. If we look over Ooh. at my accessory bag here, right here, enrich with magic find. It gives you 0 0.5 magic find. As we did about 30 to 45 minutes foraging, the last fishing festival was coming up soon, so we decided to do that. When it came down to overall progress, we actually gained about 1 million EXP in farming. Foraging, we gained about 600k experience. That being said, those two skills took me about 3 hours to level up. Through all that hard grinding, I was actually able to make around 4 to 5 million dollars. There's points in times that I get really bored in this game and decide to watch something on YouTube, sometimes even Netflix, and as I do this, I just sit in AFK in a cobblestone generator. I don't actually mean AFK, I just mean mindlessly farming not only is this getting my mining up but i think cobblestone generators give around 300k to 400k coins per hour if you don't already have a cobblestone generator i suggest you make one they only take about 30 to 40 minutes to make depending on the length i really like that aspect of playing solo it's like playing soccer you like rely on your team and you know if you don't have a good striker or a good goalie if you play a sport like boxing for an example the only person that you can hold it you hold yourself accountable is yourself so that's why i like solo sports and i've kind of transferred that attitude to like mmorpgs that way i can hold myself accountable now if you're in a co-op and you get scammed and all this you know all these other factors you know they don't work as hard as you you get mad at them or they get mad at you and then you guys end up getting in a fight and you guys are really close friends or something like that it's horrible because you either one let your friend boss you or one you get so sick of your friend for not doing anything he just doesn't become your friend you kind of like befriend him so that's why i like playing solo but it's gotten to the point where i'll literally like just fish by myself like stuff that you would probably want to do uh in a group activity like fishing and stuff like that still stuff that i like to do by myself it's just like a personality trait to be fair just like how some people they only want to play this games if it's like playing dungeons with their friend they don't even care about in-game progression they just want to have fun with their friends those are the same people who only play games of like uh, League of Legends where it's like 5v5 or Valor 5v5 or CSGO 5v5 because there's some type of like collaboration and communication involved which makes the game have a different dyna uh, dynamic. Bro, 10 great whites, zero teeth. Seventy-six mil. I hope all you guys enjoyed my series so far. Today we didn't make that much money, but we did make a lot of progress when it came down to my actual skills. If you're like a part of this challenge, you guys gotta remember that it's not all about the money and that skills is very important too. Some of the top tier money making methods in this game require you to have these really good skills. So I suggest you guys get to it. Besides from that, I wanna thank each and every single one of you guys for watching until now. If you guys can like and subscribe to get us a YouTube rank, I would greatly appreciate that. Anyways, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one.